Hi everybody, this is Elena with Power for Parkinson's and I'm here to bring you another full body workout for your brain and your body. So this workout is designed for those with young onset PD. It requires a high level of fitness. We're gonna be getting up and down off the ground. So right away, I just wanna make sure this is the right workout for you. And if you're not sure about it, why don't you go check out some of our other videos. We have thousands of them. Find the workout that is challenging for you, but will also keep you safe. So if you're gonna do this workout with me, we're going to need a pair of dumbbells, weights. I'm using three pounds today. And I'm also gonna use this little ball. If you have a little ball, great. If you don't, no problem. You might um, have a pair of socks rolled up or a dish towel that you roll up, just something that later on in the workout we'll grab um, for just some tactile feedback, something to look at to really make sure we're extending our arms. So something like this nearby, something light, uh, and a water bottle, of course. One extra thing we're gonna need today is a chair. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a sit and standing. So a chair could work if you don't have a chair nearby, a bench, a couch, something that is chair level. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna get started with our warm up. So just like our exercise, our warm up is symptom focused. So definitely worth staying here with me. Let's get started with a few breaths. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, reach out and down. Getting started with a few deep breaths. And right away, extending our arms all the way out to the side, all the way up to the top. And finding full, long exhales. One more like that. Engage your core. Pull your belly button in and up towards your spine. And as you exhale, let that full breath go. Beautiful. We're going to get started with some step jacks. So you reach out, in, out, in. Nice. All right, so right from the beginning, high intensity workout. Let's speed these jacks up. Heyo. So I'll be reminding you throughout this workout to use your core, your abdominal wall, your strong ab muscles. So imagine you're wearing a corset and I'm behind you and I'm pulling that corset tight. Your front body hugs up to meet your back body. So much of our balance, our strength is coming from our core today. All right, here we go. Feet are hip width apart. We'll punch, come in. Punch, come in. Crossing the midline. Notice how I'm pivoting on that back foot. Nice. Punch, in. One more slow. Speed it up. You punch, punch. Slight bend in the knees. I'm shifting my weight from one foot to the other. Punching with a purpose. Nice, let's do four. Three, two, nice. Marching your feet. Starting to bring your knees up high. We'll clap underneath opposite knees. Yes, clap, clap. And I, right away, I want you to notice how I'm bringing my knee up towards my chest instead of bending down like this. So if you're not reaching all the way underneath your knee, maybe you touch the top of it. Firing up that core for four, three, two, one, we're gonna start to squat down nice and slow. Three, two, one, stay slow, move to the right. Three, two, move to the left. Three, two, one, slowly stand up. Four, three, two, one. Okay, that was only two and a half minutes and I'm feeling warmed up and ready to go, which means we did a good job. Okay, so like usual, we're gonna do a circuit. We're gonna have six exercises. We're gonna do two rounds today. We'll do one minute of movement and a little bit of rest in between. All of these exercises are designed to target a specific symptom, so let's do this. Our first one, we're gonna use that chair and we're gonna use our dumbbells. So we'll start with an Arnold press, which means you're, you might bring your weights onto your knees and then lift your weights up, palms face in to start out. I press up, notice how I'm rotating my palms so that when my arms are extended overhead, my palms face forward, and then I bring them back down. I press into my heels, start to shift my weight forward, stand up, slowly lower. When I find my chair behind me, I'm gonna find a curl. Lift, stand, sit, back to that Arnold press, lower, stand, sit. So notice how I'm alternating between a bicep curl and an Arnold press, but I'm using my lower body and my core to stand up tall in between. When I get to the top, I gently round my tailbone down. So instead of arching my back at the top, head, heart, and hips are in alignment. This is a full body burner to get us started. Let's do it. 
All right, so starting off with our feet on the ground, palms facing in, one minute, let's go. Arnold press, lower, stand, sit, curl, lift, stand, sit. Arnold press, lower, stand, sit, say it with me, curl, lift, stand, Sit, incredible friends, keep this going. And stand up tall at the top. Lower down with control, we're already 30 seconds in. Working on shoulder mobility with this Arnold press. A Little bit of cognition with the pattern between the alternating curls, alternating presses. And of course all these lower body muscles that are so good for strength and gait. Okay, gotta focus. Four, three, two, one. Nice friends, that was the first one. Okay, we're gonna do this second one. It's a tricep push-up. And I purposely put this one after the chair because I think it could be a great option for you to start this tricep push-up on the chair. I can almost promise you that's where I'm gonna end up. So we'll put our weights out of the way and I'll show you this tricep, tricep push-up on a chair first. You might have your hands on the edges, or you might have your palms flat, whatever's more comfortable for your wrists. Notice from the crown of my head to my heels is a long plank. I do a tricep push-up. So notice how my elbows stay tucked in. That's different than a wide arm push-up where my elbows go out. So tricep push-up, elbows stay narrow when I get to the top. I find my right knee towards my right elbow, come back. Left knee crosses the body and come back. So tricep push-up, mountain climber, mountain climber. If you're gonna do this on the ground, it looks just about the same, except your palms come to the earth. We find a long line, tricep push up, cross body, cross body. You are always welcome to lower your knees for a little extra support and find the mountain climber at the top. Whew, okay, we have one minute of this. I want you to pay attention to your neck. If you feel any aching in the back of your neck, that's a sign to your abs, your core, to fire up a little bit more, to pull your belly button in and up. Maybe relax your jaw muscles. Okay, tricep push up. Are you with me? I'm gonna do this on this chair, set myself up for success, and here we go. Keep your elbows tucked in, cross your body with the knee. So knee comes to the opposite elbow. Back of your neck stays long and soft. So we're crossing the midline here with our knee. And also, strengthening our triceps, this muscle on the back of our arms helps us um, press off the couch, off the floor. Whoo! Keep breathing, friends. We're doing amazing. How's your core doing? Don't forget about those strong abs helping you out here. Ooh, I'm feeling the fatigue. seconds. Keep breathing till the end. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, are you feeling that on the back of your arms? I hope so. You're doing amazing. We're doing incredible. Third exercise. I'm really excited about this one. We do not need our weights. We're going to do a wall sit. So you're welcome to have this chair nearby. Uh, just in case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press our back up against the wall and I'm gonna start to walk my feet out. Sliding my hips, my back along the length of this wall and I have this chair here. So just in case I really need to slide down to the ground, maybe you slide down and then you press up on this chair. Or maybe if you start to lose your balance, you can kind of roll into the chair. So chairs there, always a good idea. For this wall sit, we're gonna press our lower back into the wall. So gently scoop your tailbone under, press into your heels, press your shoulders against the wall. You might even press the back of your head against the wall. Hug your core in. We're here for a minute. It's a long time, but I promise you can do it. The lower your hips are towards the ground, the harder it is. So to make this a bit more manageable, maybe slide up the wall a little bit and hang out here. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to sit down low. We got a minute on the clock. And let's do it. So while we're hanging out here for a full minute, I'm going to introduce some fun neuroplasticity exercises. Take it or leave it. Just something to distract you from the burning in your quads. With your right hand, make a fist and start to um, slide it along your chest. 
And with your left hand, I want you to gently start to pat your chest. So this is a lot going on for me. One hand is sweeping, one hand is tapping. And I'll switch. I have to get one going and then add in the other. Okay, there we go. 30 seconds, y'all. Press into your heels. Don't forget to connect your lower back. Connect your shoulders with the wall. Press in the big toes, the pinky toes towards the floor. Keep your neuroplasticity going for me. We're close. Ooh, working opposite sides of the brain for 10 more seconds. Nice, y'all. Three. Two, one, press into that chair, press into the wall. Oh my goodness, okay. I hope your quads are feeling it like mine are. We're doing amazing, this is round one. We're just still getting warmed up. Okay, so for this fourth exercise, let's grab these weights. And we wanna move the chair out of our way. We're gonna start with our weights fully extended overhead. So I hold my weights like this. I fully extend them. My feet are hip width or a little bit wider than hip width apart. I'm gonna squat down and bring those weights towards my chest. I come up to the top, transfer my weight towards my right foot, bring my right elbow to my left knee. So take a few more um, seconds to check me out. What we're doing is we're transferring our weight from one foot to the other, driving that opposite knee up to opposite elbow. So a lot going on, working on balance, but I also want you to think about this knee to elbow being a bit of a fluid mov movement. So also working on rigidity here, kind of getting into a fluid rhythm, staying with it for a whole minute. Okay, are you with me? Let's extend our arms overhead, engage your strong core muscles, gently tuck your chin to lengthen the back of your neck. Here we go. Ooh, so you might not bring that knee all the way up. Maybe it just comes a few centimeters or inches off the ground. Stand up tall at the top. Yes. All right. Squat up, cross up, squat up, cross up. Beautiful, friends. Woo! Sitting down low at the bottom for these last 30 seconds. Nice, and keep your chest proud. What does that mean at the bottom of your squat? Keep your chest lifted. We're so close, y'all. Stick with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, beautiful. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Notice how your chest feels. We're working hard. Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground for this next movement, so Get there nice and slow. Maybe you drop your weights before you head down there. So we're coming onto our backs, all the way down onto our backs. And then when we get there, we'll grab these dumbbells. This is my favorite movement of the day. So I hope you like it. We're calling these dumbbell dead bugs. So this is your starting position. With your arms overhead, your knees at 90. Knees are stacked over my hips. This is your starting position. We're going to extend the left leg, drop the right arm, come back to our start position, switch sides. Left arm, right leg, and we come back in. There is a lot going on here. If you kind of want to take this, take one layer out of it, what you might do is you might bring your hands together and you might draw both hands as you alternate the legs. Still a great workout for your brain and body, just a little bit different. So I want to invite you to find what works for you. Okay, friends, so as we're down here on the ground, notice if you have space between your lower back and the floor. Hug that belly button in. Gently scoop your tailbone up. Press into your heels. And let's have some fun, shall we? Okay, one minute of dead bugs. Start with your knees at 90, feet flexed. And then let's get to work. Dropping right arm back, left arm back, and switch. I'm sorry, right arm, left leg. And switch. No need to rush through this one. There's so much going on. Really focusing on keeping our lower back flush with the ground. Extend, bring it back to our starting position. Working on full range of motion here. Can you straighten your leg out? Can you straighten your arm out? And then bring them back to the starting position. 30 seconds, incredible. How's your breath? 
Are you holding on to some tension in the skin of your face? Can you relax the skin between your eyebrows? Can you relax your jaw muscle? Can you engage your core? Y'all, we're close, we got 10 seconds. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Yes, y'all, so good. Loving all that contralateral movement we have going on. I'm proud of you. We're gonna stay on our backs for our last movement and we're gonna put the weights out of the way. So I want you to make sure that they're not gonna roll back underneath you or end up tripping you. We're gonna move the weights out of the way and we're gonna do this last one. It's a variation of, of a hip bridge. So to, to get up, we extend our arms, we press our palms, the skin of our forearm into the earth, press into your heels, start to round your tailbone up. So this is our starting position. I'm pressing my shoulders into the earth. I'm pressing the back of my head into the earth, really lifting my hip points to the sky. Your challenge comes in by lifting one knee. Notice how I'm keeping it at 90 and lowering. Lifting one knee and lowering. So if this is a lot for you, which it's a lot for everyone, but if it's too much for you, another option might be to keep your lower back and hips on the ground. Have this as your starting position and lift your knees up from 90. This is still a great move to target your lower abs, your lower core, which is what both of these moves do. So maybe you start with one, end with another, play in between them, whatever works. This is our last movement. So here we go, start to lift your hip points up into your hip bridge. Really engage your belly button, lengthen your tailbone, and then start to lift your knees one at a time. So just like before, no need to rush on this one. As you lift your knees, I want you to chase your chin with your chest. So bring your chest up towards your chin and then chase the sky with your chin. Jut your chin up towards the ceiling. Nice. No need to rush. Lift your hip points as high as you can. 30 seconds. Are you breathing? Nice work, friends. We're close. Keep your, your cheeks squeezed together at the top. 10, nine. Nice, y'all. So close. Three, two, one. Amazing. I want you to slowly lower down and then extend your arms, extend your legs. Find a long body stretch. Ooh, so good, so good. All right, to get up out of this, well, you can do whatever you want. What I'm gonna do is roll onto my side in fetal position and then press one hand into the earth. Take a minute here, find my center of balance, find my breath. That was round one. How are you feeling? How are you, how are you doing? You doing good? Okay, great. We're gonna slowly come up off the ground. We're gonna take a water break before round two. So everybody grab a sip of water. If you don't have water nearby, pause the video, go get some water. All right, y'all, so same six movements. We're gonna do it one more time. This time, I'm gonna add in another element of fun, take it or leave it, it's just an invitation, uh, to add in a cognitive challenge. So I'll give you a list or something to think about as we do this movement for each round. For this first one, which is our Arnold Press, um, we're gonna list out movies, and this is named after Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's a shoulder movement. You might notice he has big shoulders. So we're gonna list out movies. He does not have to be in them to count. And again, if you're like, I would actually just prefer to focus on my form and my mind-body connection, feel free to do that. Or if you wanna think about something else and give your brain an added challenge, see how many movies you can list out in one minute. Just an option. Okay, so this Arnold press, our palms face in, and remember we lift, lower, Stand, sit for the second rep, you curl, lift, stand, sit, alternating between the Arnold press and the curl, but the whole time listing out movies. All right, friends, let's do it. So engage your belly button, sit up tall, gently tuck your chin, and let's get to work. Standing up tall at the top all the way, and then slowly lowering down, curl, and lift, stand, sit, press, lower, stand, sit. Ooh, beautiful, so hopefully finding some control on the way down. Half 
halfway. Nice friends, paying enough attention to this movement, remembering which we're alternating between curl or Arnold press. 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. You did amazing. All right, second move is our tricep push up. So we do not need the weights. We're going to put them out of the way at a safe distance. And for the second one, if you want an extra cognitive challenge, um, I want to invite you to name outdoor adventures. You may be thinking, how the heck did she come up with that? Well, we're doing our tricep push up and we're also doing mountain climbers at the top, cross body mountain climbers. So you might think of mountain climbing, hiking, helicopter rides, journaling at a beautiful spot, whatever somebody might do in the outdoors. It doesn't have to be a physical thing, okay? So thinking of outdoor adventures as we do our tricep push-up and cross-body mountain climbers, crossing the midline, working on our tricep strength. Let's do it. Nice friends. You do not have to drop down as far as you have been, so prioritizing our form here. You might even look forward on your way down. Nice. If you feel tightness in the back of your neck, that's a message to your abs, your strong core, to engage. Nice, y'all, keep moving. Keep those elbows tucked in. They're gonna wanna open up to the sides. Focus on your triceps. You got this. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Take a minute to shake out your arms. Take a dance break. We're doing amazing. Okay. Third move is the wall sit, so you might keep the chair nearby for balance help. We're going to start to press our hips against the wall, press our lower back, and then start to walk our feet out. So if you feel space, if you can slide your hand between your lower back and the wall, hug your belly button in, lengthen your tailbone down, front body hugs up to meet the back body. A lot going on in your core here. Okay, one minute. We're here. Let's stay here. So. Really working on our quads here, these big muscles in the front of our thighs. Ah, working on your core and working on our brain because I have another fun neuroplasticity move. Pinky and thumb. I want you to notice how they're facing in the same direction. Switch, switch, switch. Nice, switch, switch. Keep going, out, switch. Can you speed it up? Switch, 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 switch. Ooh, man. Can you sit down a tiny bit lower? Slow it back down. Out, in, out, in. We're so close, y'all. 10 seconds. Yes, stay here till the end, every second. You got this. Three, two, one. Ooh, press into that chair nearby you. Help yourself stand up, y'all. We are doing amazing. If your quads are on fire, that means you're doing it correctly. I'm right there with you. All right, fourth movement, super fun. We're gonna grab our weights. And this is uh, our motion where we start with our weights over overhead. We squat down, up, cross, up. Squat down, up, cross, up, amazing. So what came to mind when I was doing this one-legged motion was a flamingo. And then when I was thinking about flamingos, I was thinking about beaches and then I was thinking about vacations. So I was thinking that for the cognitive challenge, you might list out um, a bucket list of vacation spots or travel destinations you would wanna go to. So here we go, travel destinations as we do our squat with this extended arm crossbody drive. Here we go. Squat, up, cross, up, squat, up, cross, up, 
Sit down low. Keep your chest proud. Nice, friends. As we shift our weight from one foot to the other, practicing finding our center of gravity, practicing our spatial awareness. So good for balance. Extend your arms at the top range of motion. Nice. How many vacation spots do you have on your list? You're doing amazing. Keep moving. Don't slow down. 10 seconds. Yes. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Incredible work. We've got two more to go, and they are both on the ground. So we're going to put our weights nearby and then slowly travel down towards the ground, getting ready for those dumbbell dead bugs. Whew, so on these dumbbell dead bugs, remember we're working opposite sides of the body, practicing those contralateral movements. And since these are called dead bugs, I was thinking you might list out critters, different bugs. They could be cute critters, like fuzzy caterpillars, or they could be not so cute. I'll let you decide. I want you to list out critters as we do these dead bugs and really focusing on pulling the belly button in and up towards the spine, full range of motion with the arms and the legs and using opposite sides of the body. As I told you, this is the most fun move of the day. Okay, so slowly make your way on down. Remember our starting position, knees over hips with our feet flexed, hands over those shoulders, palms facing in. We got one minute. Let's do it. What about scorpions? Have you thought of that critter yet? Check in with your core. No need to rush. Opposite arms and opposite legs find full range of motion as they reach out and come back to the starting position halfway. Stay with me. Building strength in our side body here. Hip flexors, so good. We're close, y'all. 10 seconds. You got this. Breathe till the end. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. You did it. Beautiful. Okay, put these weights to the side, out of the way. And for this last movement, it's that really super fun bridge knee march. I'm gonna give you those same two options as before. You might start out with your hips on the ground, this as your starting position, and then raise your knees over your hips, flexing your feet at the top, working your hip flexors and your lower abs, just like if you do this one, where you keep your hips lifted. Notice how my tailbone is lengthened, and I lift my knees and lower. You don't have to lift your knees high. It could just be a few inches, but I really want you to keep your hips elevated. This is our last one. One minute, and then we're gonna have some fun. Okay, you got this. Engage your core, press your heels into the earth, lift your hips, and then get to work. Remember, chest is chasing our chin. Chin is chasing the sky. Lift your hip points up. Beautiful. Woo. Nice work, friends. Keep going till the end. This is where you finish strong. This is your last push of the circuit. Lift your hip points up just as high as you started. You got this. We're close. Breathe. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Just like before, long body stretch. Extend your legs, extend your arms overhead, point your toes, reach your fingers. Ooh, feel a nice deep stretch in your side bodies, y'all. We did amazing. Okay. 
So I'm gonna get up the same way as before. I'll bend my knees and then roll over onto my side. I'm gonna press my arm into the earth, slowly make my way up. How are we doing, y'all? You did amazing. And I want you to stay with me because just like I said for the warm up, even the warm up movements are targeting your symptoms. So these cool down movements are working opposite sides of the brain, contralateral movements, range of motion. Not only is it great to safely bring your heart rate down, but it's also great for your symptoms. So stay with me, I got you. We're just here for a few more moments together. And I want us to bring this chair back. So we're bringing this chair back into things so that we can stretch out our quads, the quads, that big muscle we worked on, our wall sits. So we're gonna plant one foot, hold on to our chair with balance. If you don't have a chair, hold on to the wall. And we're gonna start to lift our leg and I'm gonna hold on behind my ankle, behind my shin. You might even hold on to the fabric of your pants if you need a little extra support. If you have that dish towel nearby that you use, maybe you could kind of make a, a handle for it, help yourself out. So feel free to get creative. And wherever you are, hook your belly button in and up. Pull that knee back in, your left knee in towards your right knee. So instead of letting it kind of open up, keep your knees together, inner thighs are hugging in. You might even slowly press your hips forward. Whew. Yo, you did such great work today. We did a lot of ab and core work. So if you're feeling a little sore in your mid region later, that's a good sign. If you're feeling sore in your lower body, that's because we did a lot of quad and hamstring work, switch it out. So we're gonna come on the opposite side of this chair, being careful if your weights are on the ground. So switching sides, reaching for that opposite leg for a quad stretch. And feel free to notice how this side might feel different. Somehow this side is even tighter than my other leg was. We're hugging those knees together, hugging our inner thighs close towards our midline, lifting our chest, maybe even pressing those hips forward. I wanna know how today went for you, so please leave me a comment. I've loved how y'all have been leaving comments on these videos. It's made it so much more fun to know your names, to know who's coming. Uh, so please leave a comment. Let me know how today felt. What was your favorite part? What was your least favorite part? Okay, so we're gonna move this chair back out of the way. We're gonna bring our feet out wide. So I want your feet out wide, heels are in, toes are out. Inhale, reach your hands out and up, take up a lot of space. Exhale, hands come together at your heart. We're gonna start to shift our weight side to side. If you ever do yoga, you might be familiar with the shape, goddess squat, that's why it's my favorite. So our heels are in, toes are out, and we're gonna bring our hands to our thighs. Your fingers could be pointed behind you, in front of you, whatever's more comfortable, so you choose. And then we're gonna gently drop one shoulder. If you feel out of balance, bring that chair back, hold on to the back of your chair in front of you. If your hands are here with me, drop one shoulder, Open up your other shoulder, raise your gaze. Slowly come back to the center, gently shift side to side. Make sure that your hands are on your thighs, not your knees. And then we'll drop this last shoulder. Open up our shoulder. And hopefully you're feeling a deep stretch in your inner hips here. Beautiful, come back to the center, sway side to side. We're gonna come back into star pose at the top. Take up a lot of space. And then exhale, start to walk your feet back in. We're gonna reach our right arm up, back. When it gets to the top, we start to reach our left arm forward, up and back. So circling out our arms, opening up your chest to the side as you do that. Ooh, we did a lot of chest work today too with those dead bugs. Now reverse, surprise brain buster here in the cool down. Amazing, this is our last stretch. So let it feel good, full range of motion at the top and bottom. And the next time your hands are reaching up, reach both of them up. Take a big inhale to grow tall. And then clap your hands together and keep the claps going. Give yourselves a round of applause. I am so proud of you. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a good time. Let me know in the comments, maybe like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. And yes, I hope you have a lovely day. Drink a lot of water. Feel free to stretch some more and come back and see us soon. Bye, everyone.